Hi, I'm Alex. And I'm Karina. Alex, are you ready? For what? For a cookie. Oh my gosh, yes. But this is not your typical eating a cookie. Okay. Okay. So you see that we have three cookies here? Mm -hmm. These first two are one at a time. You put it on your forehead okay. and you have to move your muscles of your face to try to get it to your mouth. But you have to keep your hands behind my back, right? Behind your back. Okay. Um, but for the third cookie, I promise you, you can eat with your hands. Okay. All right. So you can use your hands to place the cookie on your forehead. Okay. But other than that, no using your hands. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. All right, like that, right? Yep. Hands behind your back. All right. Okay. Let's see if he can do it. There's a lot of twitching. I'm getting the eyebrows to move. Oh, I see a little bit of a movement. A little bit more. <laughs> oh, he's he's tried. This is pretty tough. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh. okay. You got another cookie. You can try. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Did it? You, he he broke the cookie. I broke it. This is making it more tough. Okay. Try to get one piece. Oh, oh, okay. the first part is done. <laughs> okay. He's got a lot of cookie. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. You might have to twist your face. Uh, you can move your face around if you need to. Oh, come on. Oh! Oh, wow. Well, Alex, I did make you a promise. You can eat the last cookie. Oh, yes. So, speaking on promises, we are going to talk about God's promises. Mm. How's the cookie? Mm. So, there's a story in the Bible, well, multiple stories in the Bible, where God talks about promises. Alex, when you're done chewing, can you tell us um, a story in the Bible where God talked about a promise? Yes. So... I will begin to read. Mm -hmm. This is from Genesis. Mm -hmm. So let me just flip to it, uh, I think. Are you going to read about Noah? Yes. Nice. Noah and the Ark. Previously, we read about how God was kind of upset with the people. And he decided to have a flood. Um, but he wanted to save Noah and his family. So right. Noah built an ark. He had his family with him and all the animals, two and two. Um, so they were on the ark for multiple days. Like 40 days, I think. Or more. It was a lot. Yeah. Um, and now they're on dry land. And this is where um, Alex is going to read. They're on dry land. They just got off the ark. Take us away. Alrighty, alrighty. And this is from Genesis 9, chapter 9, verse 8 through 17. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, livestock, and all the wild animals, all those that came out of the ark with you, every living creature on earth. I establish my covenant with you never again will all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you, a covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. So God said to Noah, this is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all life on the earth. 
<sighs> so what does that mean? Well, I would say that means that God's covenant or his promise mm -hmm. is that his promise with Noah mm -hmm. is to keep him, him and his family and his three sons as well alive. And that showing the rainbow mm -hmm. will definitely be the sign that the promise will always be there after any storm. And um, generation to generation, no matter how, you know, you said it, um, no matter how many floods happen, there will always be a rainbow. Yes. So you kind of answered it before, but what is a covenant? A covenant is a promise. It's a, or a binding or everlasting agreement. Nice. So God made a promise with us. Yes, he did. And why is it important to keep our promises? Well, if I uh, could make an example of... Uh, you know, one time at recess, I was trying to um, share my share my snacks, mm -hmm. and someone promised that they would trade my Skittles for for Reese's. Ooh, oh boy, was I excited! Was, yeah, that's good. That's good. But then I did not get Skittles, and instead I had no Skittle. I had no Reese's and no Skittles, and they came out with. I was pretty sad. Yeah, so, so when somebody doesn't follow through with their promises, we feel very sad. Yeah, um, I know I did. Earlier, I made a promise with you. Um, I told you you could eat the third cookie. Yeah, and, and I did. And why was that? I know it was a cookie, but how did that make you feel knowing that, you know, you didn't, you weren't able to eat the first two cookies? No. How did, how, how does that make you feel? It, felt, it made me feel so good that that Oreo was so tasty. Yeah. Mm. It felt, it probably felt good that, you know, the first two, you kind of weren't able to get it. You kind no. of, but then the second or the last one, you were able to get it and it just, ah, uh, it feels so good. It felt great to finally eat the Oreo. Yeah. Now, Karina, why do you think God made the rainbow the promises that's a really good question you know he could have used um different ways to show promises if you guys listened to our previous bible study um we did a mad libs together that's right and in the end of the mad libs um alex made that the promise would be a peacock which would be weird very weird yeah so there are different things that, you know, God could have made as the symbol of the promise, but he chose the rainbow. I feel like the rainbow was a really good one to pick as a Yeah. Because, you know, there's a storm. There's always going to be storms in life, you know, physically, emotionally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But knowing that at the end of the storm, it will end. Um, there will be something beautiful at the end of it. And that God was with us throughout the storm. Right. <sighs> Now, other than the rainbow, what other ways do you think we see God? Ooh, well, or, uh, see God at work. See God at work? Um, well, there's multiple different ways. Something that I always correlate with God's work is simple acts of kindness. Mm, Being okay. able to provide cookies for a friend, um, opening doors, big one. Right, um, right. Praying is another way we can show um, God's work to others and sure. God works to us and just being here um, we are showing that God's work is still very much in effect these days yes for sure now we still have floods today but there are, are never worldwide no, God has kept his promise not to flood mm -hmm. the entire earth again mm -hmm. and has continued to give us rainbows after storms mm -hmm after every storm I've ever seen mm -hmm. and to show us that the storm is over new life can be mm -hmm. grown once more yeah and God's promise are everlasting and they're for everyone the covenant with the rainbow reminds us that after after time and when we're going through tough challenges it gives us a chance to grow and to learn um, something new about ourselves yeah and we learned today that um, Alex really likes cookies I Really do. So, Alex, do you mind if we pray for a second? I, I don't mind at all. I mean, it may Take be longer than a second, but... 
<sighs> Dear Lord, thank you for the promise that you have provided with the wind, uh, with the rainbow. Thank you that we are able to learn from your, um, learn from your wisdom that when we make promises, even if it's about a cookie, that we try our very best to keep our promises just as you do with us. Um, every storm runs out of rain and we will always see the rainbow at the end. And we always know that you will be with us throughout the rain and after the rain. Amen. Amen. Whew. And with that, we pray that everyone has a blessed day. And that you experience God's love today. Stay safe. From all of us here at Park River Bible Camp.